Superstition Mountain, coming at you. <laughs> so now we got a problem. Oh, wow. Good morning and welcome to today's video. I'm super excited. Today's video is going to be a whole lot of fun and I've got some people with me that, well, frankly, I've been missing. Look, my main man, Scooter. What are you doing? Are you happy to be here? Are you happy to be back? We are in the Superstition Mountains and we are going to be doing some overlanding. I say overlanding, technically this won't be overlanding. It's just more off-roading because we've got a base camp. Let me show you. Also with me is the lovely, the beautiful, the gorgeous Miss Ashley. Hello. <laughs> what you got there? Bacon. Scott cooked it up. Scott's over here working the grill, chefing it up. So if you have not been following, we just left Mexico. We rode those motorcycles all through Mexico. It was pretty awesome. It was the Baja of Mexico. If you want to check it out, you can find a link right here. And there's a whole series, uh, I think like seven or eight videos on riding Mexico. But now we're back. We are uh, set up. I got the Centauri rooftop tent on my Jeep Gladiator. We're gonna pack it up here shortly and hit those trails. The tent slept great last night. Super cozy in there. Absolutely. So this is a little bit different and before all you hardcore, badass, riding bikers out there start getting on me, this isn't camping, a tent and a Jeep and oven, a grill, you even got hot water and a shower. Listen, I guess as you get older, you enjoy the comforts a little bit more. And frankly, I like having my girl and scooter with me and they like the comforts a little bit more. And sometimes in life, taking care of yourself is actually taking care of those you love. Here with our host, which is my boy, Ryan. Ryan, tell them about your page. Uh, it's Full Throttle Hog. Follow along, I greatly appreciate it. Heck yeah, man. And uh, can we take a peek inside your camper? Yeah, we got Scott's uh, air mattress in here. Okay. Um, <laughs> But yeah, come on in. Oh yeah, this is nice, huh? It Look is, at this. It is glamping for sure. This is luxury. Don't let Ashley see this. <laughs> <laughs> so it's cool, uh, where normal overlanding would be, you know, you pack all of this stuff up that we've got here, a kitchen, shower, everything you need to camp and survive, and you load it all in the vehicles, then you run off into those mountains, and then you set up camp and you stay out there and then you move again the next day and you travel the country like that. That's what overlanding is, right? This is more of camping and off-roading. We just happen to have a really dope tent. Scott's got his already packed up. So uh, next two videos, off-roading, not so much really technically overlanding. Let's show them what you're driving. Yeah, for sure. I have a 2015 Toyota Tundra SR5. Got the SR5 because I knew I was gonna strip it down and build it the way that I wanted to build it. This was my intention of the Gen 1 Raptor Killer. We have Fox 2.5 shocks all the way around, a coilover system with the Camberg upper control arm. We have re-geared it to 488 gears, which made a huge difference. Running Deber leaf springs in the rear, and we have an ASV intake system. That's pretty much all I have on this truck, but it, it does the trick and I love it. One Tundra, two Jeeps, hitting the trail, Superstition Mountain, coming at you. of the fun of the adventure is uh, finding new areas, for me anyhow. It's finding the little remote areas, like this old bridge that's all done up with art. I mean, and there's some good stuff up here, like the Frankenstein octopus. <laughs> so original. <laughs> it is, very original. Look at that, the bighorn sheep, the alien head. Just a cool old railroad bridge out here in the middle of the desert. A lot going on, a lot of graffiti. <laughs> Lots of graffiti. I like graffiti though. I do too. It could be really interesting. Look at the flag. America, baby. Ow! This is awesome. Love it. This is 
really cool. All of these rocks are just like smashed together to form these canyons. I think this looks like a perfect spot for a little lunch. Could you ask for a better lunch table? Oh, God. Huh? Hell no. It's pretty neat. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I made some pasta last night at the campsite. We didn't bring any, sandwiches. any spoons or forks, so. No spoons or forks. Yeah, we kind of messed up on there. It's a hell of a spot for lunch, baby. <laughs> you like it? I do like it. It's a good view from here. It's beautiful. I do. And I almost died. You did. I hope this is not the same situation. It, it very well may be. <laughs> Breathing heavy yet, Scott? Yeah. He's lying, son of a bitch. <laughs> he was just begging us to stop and take a picture. I put the camera up. How you doing, Scott? Oh, everything's great. Hell yeah. I can't even tell we're going uphill. Okay, this is pretty steep. That's where we're going. This is beautiful, though. Worth every minute. So they're uh, wind caves. They're actually carved out of stone by wind. Up here to the side of this mountain overlooking that. See from a long ways from here. <laughs> I love adventures like this. I love taking you all along with me. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Pump. Yeah, baby, get the old blood pumping. That's right, the blood be pumping. <laughs> <laughs> they're saying we need to look out for these things here. I can see why. Look at that. Ooh, you don't want to fall in that. Yeah. Ain't no thing, baby. <laughs> Big hole up there. Mm, that is gorgeous, lover. sandstone you can just break it off you see that look at that that could fall on you at any minute big guy Woo! we are having fun now how's that for a view my god this is what we just came up right here you think this is more difficult than that than this side i would i would think so you think so i will tell you that a jeep has rolled down that one how yeah flipping up wow i think this looks super doable y'all want me to do it well i'm i'm not gonna say no all right let's do it diablo's drop off The 
whole Rubicon did good. So like an overlanding trip, if this was a real overlanding trip, we would be setting up the tents here, maybe set up a nice kitchen right here, and this would be our living room for the day. How beautiful would that be? The nice part about having a base camp is, my kitchen's already set up and my shower's already set up, so. <laughs> you know, there's benefits to both. What do you think, baby? Should we spend a night up here one night? That'd be a beautiful sunset. Beats, uh, beats a hotel room. Oh, 100 times. So now we got a problem. Oh, wow. This is a big problem. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see what's going on here. We were riding a little bit. We we're having a little fun. And then the road turned to this. <laughs> I think it's full scent. Could you imagine, like, witnessing that? <laughs> yeah. Would be? Yeah, if your truck was parked there for a picture and then that came oh. down, mm, bad deal. Yeah. So another wash out here. I just climbed over it with the gladiator. No problem, went smooth. That was pretty smooth, huh? Yeah, that was sweet. I was just hoping you'd hit and hit your rear on that side. You didn't feel anything hit, right? Nothing hit at all. Nope. Okay, cool. Smooth. Just keep turning our way, just a hair, just a hair. Now I'll start cutting in. Now, yeah, just a hair. There you go. That's it, you're on your way down. That's the last one. There's a big drop there for sure. You're gonna to wanna to cut into it. Turn, turn. Driver. Doorway, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're gonna come down this drop here. Slowly, slowly. There you go, let it go, you're good. Keep going, you're good. There you go, slowly. you got it. Turn left, turn left. Just a little, there you go. Now turn back right. Nice. Yeah. You're good. Straight out now. Straight out. Golden. There you, go. you got it, homie. Good work. You're good. To your right. Yep. Now slow, and you're climbing a rock. You're climbing a rock. Okay. Keep coming. Cut in. Cut in. Nice. Ain't no thing. <laughs> Is there damage? Not done by me. Oh no, it's a little tight in here. Yeah. We got this. We got this. Totally just, agree. Just hit it with your bumper a little harder, it'll tip it over. And then, well, it'll be out of your way. <laughs> All right, y'all, the night is coming. We are making our way back to the camp. It's been an amazing day, no baby? Oh my gosh, the views, everywhere you look. It has been absolutely gorgeous. I'm just loving doing this Jeep thing where, you know, Scooter can get out and play and he's still got a climate controlled cab. Woo. We are uh, baja at this point. It's a gladiator uh, Baja. <laughs> All right, y'all, tomorrow's video, we're gonna be taking some very cool things even the Sultan Sea. That's gonna be interesting. They said it stinks real bad. <laughs> we'll check you all out in tomorrow's video. We'll show you another uh, dream vacation that you could take. America's a beautiful place, man. It's good to be home. We'll talk to you all in tomorrow's video.